Okay, well here we are with the last of the videos about this fire. We finally reckon we've got it right. Um, we had a bit of trouble with the chimney because we didn't actually make it big enough. You can see here the chimney coming out through the centre of this completely water-surrounded firebox. And uh, we found it wasn't quite getting enough draw and we had some smoke and stuff coming out of the front. So we then put another chimney in the front here and an addition that comes on and puts the heat into this uh, surrounding box that holds the uh, inner uh, surround for the uh, chimney itself. So it's, you know, a secondary heating box. So what we've got now is very hot air going up here into that same area, uh, surrounding that box and then going out the chimney. And we find it's working extremely well, actually. The, um, the door arrangement, we've had to cut that the hole and make it a bit bigger so we can draw a bit more air. You might be able to see that, Jamie. And um, you can see the fire inside and that's going really, really well. So this chimney here, you can see a little bit of smoke coming off that. That's not smoke from the fire. That's actually the paint burning a little bit because we thought we'd make it look pretty and paint the whole thing with silver paint. Um, but when this fire dies down tonight, we'll finish this one and tomorrow we'll insulate and wrap the whole thing. So we're very, very pleased. We fired it up yesterday uh, before we did this mod. Oh, that's darn hot. Ooh, Careful. Yeah. <laughs> um, we fired up yesterday and we've got the water temperature in the heating, the hot water tanks over here. There's two 1,000 litre IBCs, that's 500 gallons of water altogether. We got it up to 88 degrees C, which is very close to boiling point. With the fire running, with a small fire in it, running for what, eight, nine hours, Jamie, would it be? Yeah. And it got right up there. So we started off today with the water temperature at 70 C, and we believe that the uh, two thermostats would have kicked in last night and done at least one heating cycle for both tanks because we had quite a cool night here last night. Uh, we don't know that for sure, but we think so. But anyway, we're doing a final heat up now just to make sure everything works properly. And so far, we're very, very pleased with the way it's operating. So just to recap, we created a, a firebox inside a 44 gallon drum or a 50 gallon US gallon drum, 200 litres. So the firebox is completely surrounded by water. So that's giving us maximum heat uptake that we can possibly hope for. Then the water runs from here, from this uh, surrounding drum, through this pipe up to an inner skin that's, that's uh, completely surrounding the chimney, or the flue, if you want to call it that. So you get secondary heating from all that heat that's going up the chimney. And of course now with this modification, we're taking the smoke that seemed to want to come out of the front. It's now going up here with a lot of heat, very, very hot, uh, into that same chamber, heating that inner tube, inner surround of the chimney and then out the chimney. And that's helping with the draw. We found the draw of the fire. So the fire's uh, now burning at a fairly moderate pace. Uh, so we're gonna get a lot of heat out of a very small amount of wood, which is very, very satisfying. There you go, that's it. Questions, if you want any questions, put them down below and I'll attempt to answer them.